Hi, this is Dan for Your Diary. Today we're going to take a look at the Think Tank Photo City Walker 20. Let's get right to it. This is a messenger style camera bag from Think Tank. It has an MSRP of $139.75. I used it when I went to cover an event in New York City last week and really, really loved it. So let's dig in and take a, a quick look at the bag itself. First off, let's talk about the shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is permanently affixed to the bag, which is uh, not a bad thing at all because it means that there's no way the strap's coming off. It has this nice padded area here that is very, very comfortable on the shoulder, and hopefully you can pick it up on camera. It has this ribbed area that's sort of a, a rubber, a soft plastic or rubber, and what happens is when you put it on your shoulder, it stays put. It doesn't slip and slide, which is really nice if you're in the city and you're running around, you don't want it moving. In fact, when I was using the bag last week, most of the night it was like this on my shoulder, and because of the design of the shoulder strap, it didn't move at all. It stayed right where I wanted it to stay. Really a, a small detail, but a really nice feature. Another thing that I really like about this bag is that it has a grab-and-go handle. I really don't like it when I have a messenger bag of any sort that doesn't have a way to pick it up this way that you have to use the shoulder strap because there are times when you just want to grab it and you just want to go like that. This has that. It's not fancy, it's not padded, it's very utilitarian, but that's okay. And it's got a nice detail here in that it can be unclipped and removed if you're not going to use it. So if you don't want this extra strap there, you don't have to have it. A really, really nice feature. Along the back of the bag, you've got Velcro and you've got this pocket right here. Great for a magazine or two, a newspaper, a few pieces of paper that you're going to need to access quickly on the go. Along the front of the bag, you've got this zippered area, which when unzipped just is a nice open area. You can put a lot in here and bulge it out. It's going to make the bag a little cumbersome, but it does uh, have a lot of room if you need that space. I don't think you're going to because of the interior room in the bag. Now, when you want to open the bag up, you can undo the Velcro and it still won't open because it has this extra X-clip inside, which is really nice because it requires you to push from both sides in order for the bag to actually be released. You're not going to accidentally push on it. You have to consciously push from the sides. Nice feature as well. The flap has something we've seen before, which is the, what they call the sound silencer. You undo this Velcro and then flip up the Velcro. And now when you put the flap down, the only thing that will keep it closed is this. Why do you want that? Well, if you're in a setting where you don't want to hear this, every time you open your bag, you're going to want to use the sound silencers. If you don't mind having the sound and you want that extra protection, you go back to using the Velcro and you get both the clip and two pieces of Velcro, but you do get that sound every time you open it up. Again, a nice detail. Another nice detail, a spot here for your business card. Now, this bag has what's probably familiar to you, which is this interior space, which allows you to organize your camera gear and keep it protected and accessible. One of the nice things about this bag, not unique to this bag, but really well done here, is that you can, with one motion, remove the entire camera protection area. You can organize your camera gear the way that you want and keep it in here and you don't have to take it out. Why would you want to do that? For this reason. When you're not using it, this bag becomes just a really nice, slick, good-looking messenger bag in and of itself. So you can use it as a messenger bag, and then when you want to use it for photography, take the camera divider and put it in there. So looking at the interior of the bag, on the front here, you have Velcro keeping this area closed. And when you open it up, you've got an interior pocket and some nice, hopefully you can get this on camera, some nice organizational space inside as well. So you've got an office on the go. Along the back, you have a zippered area that also will hold some of your gear. And then you have a cup or a bottle holder here and one on the other side or for additional lenses if you want. You can put lots of stuff there. You also, I forgot to mention, on the outside you've got, on either side, you've got an elastic area for water bottles. Another nice feature of this bag, pull up on this tab and you've got a nice padded area for a tablet so that you can have your tablet and your camera and your other gear on the go and you basically have a mobile 
uh, Photoshop. So you take the messenger bag when you're ready to go take some shots. You take the divider area, put it in, make sure it seats the Velcro on the back. You've got your camera gear in here now. Close it up, grab the go handle, and you're ready to go. This is the City Walker 20 in blue from Think Tank Photo. It has an MSRP under $140. This is Dan for Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching.